previously on 60 seconds. Everything is shaking, cans are jumping all over the place. If this had happened after we drank the delicious wine, it would have been perfectly normal. <sighs> An earthquake, let's save the radio, we're gonna need that. And now for the epic conclusion. We, we still are able to repair the torch with the Boy Scout book. <sighs> Timmy should have returned by now, we need to face the worst possible scenario. He might not be coming back. Yeah, I don't think he is. I, I don't think he's. Ah well, we lost we lost the torch, it broke in the earthquake. Because we, we're not free people, we couldn't possibly hold on to two items. Possibly not. Getting something to drink for Mary Jane sounds like the right idea. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't believe you. Okay, who should go outside? There would be ne <laughs> We never thought there would be a telephone signal again when suddenly a phone starts ringing from somewhere outside. You know what? I'm gonna send Dolores out to answer the phone because I can't be bothered to answer the phone. Uh, it is very likely to go uh, be a prank call, but I figured why not send her anyway. Yeah, we were so excited to hear your voice on the other end of the line. Excited, that is, until we realized it was a pre-recorded sales message for canned tomato soup. Yeah, I wish that would do something different as well. Like, there would be an off chance. Who knows, maybe there is a different outcome. Do you know? Let me know. We were glad to see Dolores come back safely from the wasteland. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, nothing we need to do. Um, we could prepare an expedition for tomorrow. That sounds good. Every new smell attacks our noses in this little shelter instantly. There isn't much we can miss, so when a single brick fell out of the wall revealing a tight opening, our senses were immediately invaded, invaded by a terrible stench. Let's check it out. There might be a can of soup in there. And there's also the chance that they're going to break our radio. They broke our radio. <sighs> of course they did. Of course they did. Uh. We approached the hole cautiously and peeked inside. What happened next nearly gave us a heart attack. Some crazed rodent jumped out and destroyed it. Uh. All right, Mary Jane wants food. Dolores will not survive without water. All right, here's food, water for the rest. And we're gonna send out Dolores. Dolores also, I'm gonna give her also some soup because she's going out now, increase her chances of survival. Honey, bring back some uh, steaks. Bring back steaks. Because that's very likely that we're... Uh, not the cow, bring the steak. Okay, Ted is hungry. All right, all right, I got you covered, Ted. I got you covered. Oh, Mary Jane's birthday. Oh, well, she doesn't want a gift, so I don't have to gift her anything, so what do I care? Let's not gift, gift her anything. <sighs> I, we gave you the gift of life. Isn't that enough for the next, you know, I don't know, 30, 40 years? Mary Jane's condition isn't any better today. I assume so. Mm. Yeah, we're doing fine. We will just have to wait for her. our wife to come back. My wife to come back. Ted's wife to come back. There, there's the right pronoun. Hmm. Hopefully the time to leave will come soon. I hope so too. I would love to get rescued in this. Mary Jane is very thirsty. That is really thirsty. I bet you are. Mary Jane has been awfully silent today. Very unlike her. Should we try talking to her? Is it because we didn't give her anything for her birthday? Could be. Could be. I really wonder what those... Oh, what just happened? When Mary Jane's sickness got worse... Oh. And when we weren't able to provide her with medicine, she decided it's time to cure whatever she had on her own. She left a note saying she's not coming back since she never even liked our town to begin with. Well then, nothing solves problem better than an unrest conversation over a hot beverage. Well, that was a great conversation. She left, Ted. She left. Good job, Ted. Now you're all alone. Oh, someone's offering something for water. I do not have any of those items, my man. Can't trade with you. I also have so much water, I really don't need to. Oh, Ted gone... <laughs> Ted has gone crazy. Let's hope Dolores comes back. Let's hope Dolores comes back. Because right now... Oh, don't... Let's give him water. We don't want him to die. Ooh, we can repair a gas mask with the Boy Scout book. Or we're going to completely break it. One of those two things is going to happen now. And it is going to be... Oh, we repaired it. I actually did not expect that. That's great. Maybe now we can do something with the military if we had a functioning radio, which we don't. I don't know if we can repair it with the Boy Scout book. But Dolores! Dolores brought back a radio! Dolores, you're the best! You're the bestest! Oh yeah! Before our expedition could go anywhere, could get anywhere, we ran into a group of freaky people dressed like wizards. They were eager to trade some of their supplies for a few items. It sounded like a fair deal, so we invited them in. 
They had some food with them that actually bought with real pre-apocalypse money. They thought the coins we gave them were magical. We didn't argue. Two cans of soup. And they wanted us to sell their radio. Wait, they really wanted to sell us their radio. That's the order. They claimed it was evil and whispers about the return of the Dark Lord. We gave them a bottle cap. Ha! Uh, Dolores has not eaten in a while and is tired. There you go. We have a radio. Thank you, Dolores. That definitely warrants that. Oh, we received another radio broadcast from the military. They wouldn't be arriving when we accept, expect it. But yeah, they want gas. So, we're gonna bring gas canisters to them with the gas mask. That's fantastic. Those are some good, good, good things if you get uh, events to bring the military closer. Chances are they're actually going to knock. That would be great. All set. The canisters are in place and we're safely back home. Well, if you can call it that. And hopefully for not too long, we will see what the next few days will bring. Dolores has not eaten in a while. And... Ted is hungry. Well, here you go. Well, we can't send Ted. A gang of thugs started banging on the door, ordering us to surrender. Never! You cannot have my soup. I have a rifle that might break or might not break. If it breaks, we're in trouble. Nope, it's fine. Also, you don't want to you don't want to fight against a man with his sock puppet. We're free. We're free. Uh, we were able to defend our home. Yes, Dolores is still hungry. Here's here's some food. Um, by the way, she's also thirsty. I'm so worried that her um. I'm I'm super scared about screwing this up with water, so I'm just gonna give a little bit extra here and there. We discussed everything we could and no one is willing to chat anymore. Well, let's listen to the radio and hopefully they have a uh, job for us where we have to use our map. Because that we can do. We can actually meet them up. I'm um, calm enough for Ted. Everything seems to be okay. I'm gonna give him water now too to pretty much reset the whole thing. So it's going to be on day 45. That's the easiest for me and we have so much water right now. We're totally fine. Alright then. We have a situation. A group is approaching our shelter. Uh, well, we're gonna have to defend ourselves against against thugs and raiders. And as long as the rifle is okay, we're okay. Good. Everything is calm. Nothing knows is going on. We defended our bunker. <laughs> and more people. Wow. Every day now. Is, is that what we're doing? Is that we're fighting for our lives every single day? Day 42. And what? What happened to the map? How did that happen? Oh, every day Ted is becoming more and more absent-minded. Oh, he used it as toilet paper. Great job, Ted. Great job. Great job. Uh, let's see for a second. Nothing new is going on. We cannot send anyone, obviously. Judging by the sound of gunfire and screams, it seems like a band of thugs has taken control of the area. Yeah, we're not we're not gonna send anyone. We don't need to. Look at all the food and water we have. We are in a perfect shape here. Unless Ted decides to just run out of the shelter door or destroy our radio, like he likes to do. Okay, it looks all good to me. Uh, we were discussing plans for a first meal that didn't feature tomato soup when we heard yells outside. We discovered they came from a small group of wrecked survivors. Well, this is, this is... Can we provide them with anything? Food or water? It's called Selfish Ted. I'm sorry, I cannot give you anything. This would be... This would not be true to the theme of this challenge. So I'm not gonna give him anything. Sorry. Sorry. That's so sad. Anyway, Dolores would love to eat and Ted is hungry. Got you covered. Got you covered. Um... Yeah, we're not gonna send Ted. Just when we thought we might have a quiet day, we got invaded. A group of bandits is on the other side of the door demanding we walk out hands in the air or they will get in the hard way. They will get it... They will get in the hard way. Well, let's use our rifle and tell them that we're not ready to go anywhere. We're gonna stay here in our little shelter. They can go eat a bag of primary genitalia. We were able to defend our home. Yes, very good. Dolores will not survive without water. Yeah, it's water time. It's day 45. And another attack. Wow! Dude, it's a siege. They will never give up. That's actually really surprising that it, the siege holds out that long. I had that once. It just didn't stop. And I wonder if I did something wrong. Uh, it's day 46. Nobody wants anything. And do we have another attack? No, actually we don't. Maybe they have let up and we can now live our life in our bunker in peace and quiet until we starve to death. 
Everything seems to be okay. Calm enough. And nope. Another group of bandits. They're still hanging out. How many bandits did we get in here? That's crazy. The game really wants wants us to die. Water's all that Dolores wants. Ted needs water to survive. Alright, let's listen to the radio. Maybe we can do something. I prefer radio chatter over bandits trying to mug us. Ooh, wow! Some friendly soul on the radio was talking about a supply plaque she'd lost during a trip through our town. We immediately realized she must have been driven through our street. We rushed out and got the package before anyone else. Two bottles of water, one can of soup, one med kit, and ammunition. Ooh, neato! That's great. Day 49. Tomorrow is water day. Whoever designed this fallout shelter was a genius, but we can't really tell if that green stuff dripping is included feature. No, it's not. Let's fix it with the Boy Scout book. That's what it's for. And it's day 50. That is actually really good on the Tsar Bomba difficulty. That's pretty, pretty impressive, I gotta say. Got, got, got quite lucky here. Ted's stomach is rumbling. Ooh. Dolores will not survive without water any longer. Dolores has rested. Oh, here's, here's some water for you. Ooh, Dolores is actually in pretty good shape. I mean, obviously, I'm not gonna send anyone out because we still have bandits that are trying to break in to our fallout shelter. Super annoying. And it's day 51. We were able to defend. Ted is hungry. Dolores is hungry. We're just sitting. Ooh, the army started broadcasting again. They're requesting a representative from the survivor group to meet them at a specified location nearby. Seems they wish to question people before they evacuate them. Okay, so we have the problem that we do have uh, the bandits outside, but I think since this is a event, this is actually not a regular scavenge mission or scavenge event. So, she should come back. Let's hope so. Send her to the military. She'll be fine, right? Yes. She was fine, actually. Nice! We could talk to the military. We made it to the meeting. The serious-looking soldier asked us a few questions, made some notes, and told us they would get back to us. We can only hope we made a good impression. Too bad our Sunday best didn't make it through the explosion. Good. Uh, not eaten. Ted is hungry. No problem. I feel confident. The trash can is overflowing. So let's use the Boy Scout book. Oh, that would be great. If the military would come. I mean... If, there, if, if, I, if I got some knocking on the door now, I will open it. I will open it, because the chances that it might be the military are actually not that low. We dodged a bullet this time, that is, if a bullet was huge and hairy. Okay, Dolores is still hungry. Hmm, where's water when Ted needs it? Dolores doesn't want water right now? That's weird. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna give him water, both of them, and I will give him water on day 55 again. A band of raiders are at our doorstep. They demand we let them in. No. No, go away. Shoo. Shoo. Bad raiders. Bad raiders. Go away. Ah. Dolores is fine and well. Ah, uh, this has been a calm enough for Ted. He's doing well. Well, Dolores. If you don't want anything, you're not getting anything. Okay. Well, tomorrow is water day. Day 55. I, I feel confident that the military might come. I really feel confident. But we have so many raids, it's really weird. It's really odd when that happens. We're pretty sure we can't... Oh, we're pretty sure the place we want to go is in the middle of a big hole in our map. And that really ruins the whole point of using this thing to guide us. Let's fix it. The Boy Scout book that Ted used as toilet paper. Ugh. Ugh. Really? You want, you want to fix that? And we fixed it. Hey. Neato. That's great! We fixed the map. That makes me really happy to see. Uh, does anyone want food? No, all is good. And a band of raiders are at our doorstep. How is the military gonna come to us if there's so many raiders? Maybe the gunfire will attract the military. Who knows? Doesn't seem too far-fetched, does it now? Uh, if there was anything to report about the lores, this is where we've been written. Everything's good. Life is good, you know, except the part that people are trying to kill us. Oh no! Weird noises that... Are they coming from the pipes? Waltz? Something behind the door? <sighs> I can't play a game, so... Chances are the Loris might go crazy. Ted is already crazy. I mean, he's he's far gone. He's really crazy right now. And the Loris is fine. Well, at least someone keeps their cool. Okay. The Loris has to drink sometimes. Ted's gonna drink... No, never mind. Let's give him some food. Oh, wait. The Loris doesn't want food. Silly weasel. 
Um, yeah, there's still gangs outside, and I'm pretty sure they're going to attack tomorrow again. Unless we get, you know, some knocking at the door. At this point, if they would knock on the door, if the raiders would knock on the door, I would open. Because I would definitely take the chance. Okay. The lords would really love to eat something, though lords will not survive without water. Well, here's some food. And we're gonna give you water tomorrow. <sighs> A band of raiders at the doorstep. These are not the events that I like. But I hope they will subside. Crazy how much ammunition we have. Must be really crazy. Right, time for water. And the trash can is full. How do we fill up that trash can? We're not eating that much. I mean, we have a few cans of soup. How small is that trash can that it's overflowing already? <sighs> Dolores is doing quite well. Ted is acting normally. And... Oh, wait, what? We could use some extra supplies. The last time we went on a supply run, we noticed a damaged tank. Uh, no. I'm not going to investigate that damaged tank. I'm a little bit worried that they might snatch one of us two out of there. But let's not do that. Okay, Ted seems to be doing all right. Uh, we've heard some commotion about. We're pretty sure it's a band of raiders. Uh, of course they are. Of course they are. I wonder for how long this is going on. You know, the raider thing. It's pretty crazy. All right, it's really thirsty. Oh, we can repair our torch. Neato. I mean, chances are we break it. That happened two times so far. But this time we got lucky. Considering that we got to take by so many friggin' raiders now. I think that is the only fair thing that could have happened. Well, we got a flashlight and if the military wants us to shine that at them, we're, we're all good. Good. So, Loras will not survive without water. Ted looks like it one foot in the grave. Mm. Yep. Wait. How was he hurt? Oh, the darn flashlight. What? Now I'm really confused. We repaired it? And the flashlight blew up. Those are two completely different statements. Or did it blew up? Did it blow up and then was repaired? That's weird. Anyway, Ted got hurt, so we're gonna use the medkit on him. And what about food? Ah, nobody wants food. And we're about to finish our dinner, if you can call that, when we heard someone knocking on the door. He wants to trade ammunition. No! I'm going to my ammunition. Go away. I don't want to give you any ammunition. Day 65. We're still alive for whatever odd reason. Uh, Dolores is hungry. Ted is hungry. Hmm. Can totally help out there and some water. Man, we're living like kings here. And we're getting raided again. Yeah, that happens with kings. They get, they get attacked a lot. Mutiny. Wait, what? Ted could not resist the madness that was consuming him any longer. <laughs> it seems that today, following the advice of his sock puppet, he left the bunker and went in an unknown direction, never to be seen again. We hope Ted and the cruel puppet that took him away from us will have lots of fun together. Urgh. Ah well, we were able to defend our home this time. What if they come back? Today was relatively calm for the lores. Well, the lores, honey. You're alone now. I know, this is called Selfish Ted, but Ted was so selfish he just left the bunker. Uh, this run is still going on. It didn't say anything that I would lose if Ted goes away. I just, you know, never send out Ted. Never did. Um, ah well. Laura says confident she will survive outside. That's great, honey. That's great. But we're not sending you outside. Because you're the last remaining survivor and you went crazy. That's great. Her sanity is questionable. And we've been hearing a lot of noises coming from our neighborhood zoo today. <sighs> okay, a zoo escape. We could go out and shoot them and get some extra food. Which would be crazy. You know what, let's try it. Let's try to get some food. Nope, didn't work. No lock, no lock. If so, we, had so we would have so much food. What was that beast outside? We couldn't tell if it was a giraffe, a cow or a spider. Took quite a few shots to bring it down, but in the end it found itself in our stomachs. Too bad it tasted a lot like tomato soup. Minus one ammunition. Well, what a shame. What a shame. At least she's safe. That's good. Yeah, I'm afraid of her too. She's very unexpected. Ugh. Thugs are banging on the door again. They, they don't give up. They just don't. That's really discouraging. Military, where are you? We're getting attacked here. Do your job. Defend us. Defend our freedom. 
<sighs> okay. We woke up to the sound of banging on our door. Someone has been like it. There's no tomorrow. In a manner of speaking, that might be true. Shall we open the door? Sha ah, ah, ah. The end. <laughs> we got rescued. We got rescued if the, in the Selfish Ted challenge. Fantastic, Dolores got saved in the hard mode. Means we've beaten the Tsar Bomber challenge on uh, YouTube. That's great. We've waited a long time for this moment. Words can't express how we feel when we saw those soldiers enter our humble shelter. We're safe, finally safe. What will tomorrow bring? We don't know, but it's sure going to be better than this. We survived for 70 days. Amazing, we got saved. Yay, that makes me really happy. Finally. Finally, it took long enough to get saved on the, I mean, less episodes than the normal because I didn't have to figure something out. But yeah, guys, let me know if you would like to see more challenges. I mean, we, we now made, we now survived on the hardest difficulty. We survived with one person. So, you know, there's always the possibility uh, that you guys want to see me survive with more people. But hey, yeah, let me know if you have a challenge that you would like to see. If you see a challenge that you like below, upvote it and just let me know your thoughts about the series if you want to see more i'm weasel i'm out and hope to see you around bye bye